Analyzing Data. If you look at the bottom of the slide, you will see a line plot. And this line plot includes different data points. There is one zero, one one, three twos, two threes, one four, and two fives. We can better analyze this data by finding the mean, median, mode, minimum, maximum, and range. The mean is the average of the numbers. The median is the middle value. The mode is the number that appears the most. The minimum is the smallest number. The maximum is the biggest number. And the range is how much the data is spread out. So let's start with the mean. In order to find the mean, we take the sum of the terms and divide it by the total number of terms. So the sum of the terms would be 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5. When I add all of those together, I get 27. Now we have to divide that by the total number of terms. If we look in the line plot, we can see that there are 10 total terms. So 27 divided by 10 is equal to 2.7. Median, the middle value. In order to find the median, we will cross out low then high until you have the middle term. So what that means is first we cross out the lowest number, which is 0, and then the highest number, which is 5. We continue going from low to high, low to high low to high, until this point. Since we have two numbers left, we have to find the average of those two numbers. We can do this the same way as we did with the mean. We add those two numbers, so two plus three is equal to five, and then divide by the total number of terms. In this case, there's only two terms. So five divided by two is equal to 2.5. So the median would be 2.5. Mode, the number that appears the most. If we look in the line plot, we can see that the number 2 appears the most. So the mode will be 2. Minimum, the smallest number. The smallest number in the line plot is 0. Maximum, the biggest number. The biggest number in the line plot is 5. And finally, range how much the data is spread out. In order to find the range, you subtract the smallest number from the largest number, or you subtract the minimum from the maximum. Five minus zero is equal to five, so the range will be five. Example, compare populations. Randy wants to recruit a soccer player for his college team. Find the information for each player and then determine which player Randy should recruit. Explain your choice. So let's start with player one. In order to find the mean, we have to add up all the numbers and then divide by the total terms. That would be one plus two plus two plus three plus three plus four plus four plus five, and then divided by eight, since there are eight terms total. That will leave us with 24 divided by 8, which is equal to 3. So the mean for player 1 will be 3. Median. So we start with the low number, cross it out, and then move up to the high number. When we do this, we have two numbers left, and since they are both 3, we know the median will be 3. Mode. If we look at the line plot, we can see that there are three numbers that appear two times. So the mode would be two, three, and four. Max, short for maximum. The maximum number will be five. Min, short for minimum. The minimum number will be one. And finally, range. Well, if we take the max of five and subtract the minimum of one, we can determine that the range will be four. Now moving on to player number two. Let's start with the mean. In order to find the mean, 
I have to add up all the terms and divide by the total number of terms, which would be 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. And then we would divide that by 8 since there are 8 total terms. That will leave us with 23 divided by 8. And 23 divided by 8 is equal to 2.875. So the mean for player 2 would be 2.875. Median, or the middle number. So we could start with the bottom number, cross it out, and then cross out the top number. When we do this, we're only left with two numbers, 3 and 4. So I have to find the average of those numbers. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, and 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3.5. So the median for player 2 is 3.5. Mode. If we look at the line plot, we can see that the number that appears the most is the number 5. Max or maximum. If we look at the line plot, we can see that the biggest number is 5. Min or minimum. If we look at the line plot, we can see that the minimum number is 0. And finally, range. If we take the maximum and subtract away the minimum, we can see that the range is going to be 5. Now that we have all of this data, we can answer the question. Who should Randy recruit? Explain your choice. Well, if we look at the different points of data, starting with the mean, we can see that player 1 has a greater mean. If we move on now to the median, we can see that player 2 has a greater median. If we look at the modes, we can see that player 2 has a higher mode. And finally, if we look at the ranges, we can see that player 2 has a bigger range. So what does this mean? Well, since the mean is bigger for player 1, that means that on average, player 1 scores more goals each game. If we look at the median, player 2 has a higher median, which means the middle number on the line plot is higher for player 2 than player 1. If we look at the mode, we can see that player 2's mode is 5 which means player 2 scored 5 goals the most out of all of the goals. And finally, if we look at the range, we can see that player 2 has a bigger range, which means player 2's data is spread out more. And we can see this because player 2 has had a couple games where they scored 0 goals, but also many games where they scored 5 goals. So if we think about it, which player would we want to recruit? If it was me, I would go with player 1. And the reason why is because player 1 scores more goals per game than player 2. Although player 2 did have 3 games where they scored 5 goals, they also had 2 games where they scored 0 goals. So if I wanted a player that was guaranteed to score at least 1 goal each game, I would choose player 1. Alright, now it's your turn to try it out. Mrs. Nelson and Miss Walker both believe their class performed better on the math test. Find the information and determine which class actually performed better. So I would recommend you pause the video now, find the mean, median, mode, max, min, and range, and resume when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. All right, let's take a look. So after looking at the data, we can say that Ms. Walker's class did better overall on the math test. We can say this because the mean or average score for Ms. Walker's class is higher than the mean or average score for Mrs. Nelson's class. If you had this incorrect, I would recommend you pause, review, and see if you can determine your mistake. Thank you for watching.